Oh jeez. Fight baby, fight. Yeah. Lake Vermilion Smallmouth, baby. Let's see that. It's my patriotic thumbs up to 4th of July weekend topwater frenzy. Yeah, we're out here on Lake Vermilion celebrating the 4th of July like we do every year. This is my yearly 4th of July topwater outing. We've actually been up here on vacation all week and it's been so windy and so crazy of a weather cycle that it's been hard to actually get out and bass fish or fish almost at all. It has an awesome start to the morning. I'm gonna get my thumbs up every time I get a fish. That was my daughter. There's no better way to get ready for the 4th of July than painting your fingernails. Oh, there's more bass on this line. The big ones too. I gotta go back there. They are up shallow and feeding. <laughs> it's so shallow I can see their their backs as they swim. Come back for me. Oh, I can see him over against the rocks. I mean, like, come back over by me. No, I'm on a stick. I gotta find this bass that's on <laughs> surface right over here by me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so cool. I mean, they are chasing things everywhere. Let's see if I can get them. The classic cruising is what they're doing. So in some ways this is actually got an easy element and a hard element. The easy element is you actually see them feeding. So you have a place to cast to if you're seeing them. The hard part is they're moving everywhere. So, you know, 10 seconds later after you see them, if you're not casted over there, they're gone. I mean, they are cruising fun to watch fun to see put me on on point here on my head's on a swivel now all of a sudden here we go. oh this might be a nice one. Oh, this might be a nice one don't go ah this is small <laughs> that's okay it's okay he was still fun Oh, it's a largey. It's a largey. <laughs> Don't catch many Lake Vermilion largies. Hey there, largemouth. Lake Vermilion's got largemouth too. Yeah, bud. There it is. Fun time. 
those. <laughs> like, it is the classic chasing crawfish really shallow. Like, they basically run right up into the shore. Into like just two inches of water even. When they are shallow, when you see them like this, you know it's going to be a good morning. <laughs> the numbers indicate that even some of the fish that are typically a, a little bit deeper are up shallow. This camera because I'm sure I'm going to get a strike over there. Because I keep seeing one surface and I cast it right on top of them. and a half. <laughs> oh, thanks for the fun though. gonna be no that's bigger that one's bigger oh. <laughs> oh boy I got my fingers crossed on this one it's already a thumbs up 17 incher last year I came out and I got some of the most awesome footage ever and then had a very unfortunate accident with the flash drive that I had all the videos saved on and lost everything and so I didn't have a topwater bass episode last year. There's nothing like celebrating your independence with some of these beautiful vermilion bronze backs. <clears throat> yeah. Man, the weather has been so crazy. I mean, I was hoping to have this topwater episode done a while ago. It's been cold actually for July, late June. We haven't really seen much over 70 degrees this week and windy. So in my little boat, it's been hard to go to the places I want to go in order to catch some fish. Thankfully, I was up here long enough to be able to catch a good morning and it's paying off splendidly. It's July 2nd. Water temps are right around 70 degrees, which is actually um, not very warm for this time of year. Usually we're seeing 75 ish. So everything is behind. Water levels are still super high with the amount of water we had this spring and the winter runoff. I'm gonna show what I'm using quick. One of my faves, ye old skitter pop. Such a great lure. And it literally does go pop, pop, pop. It's pretty cool. It's working so far. It's making me feel like a pro this morning. <laughs> oh, there's a fish up here. I might buy him, I might buy him. He took it, he took it, he took it. Stay on buddy, this seems like a good one. Oh buddy, oh buddy. 
Oh, this is a big one. Oh, this is a big boy. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it till I get it in. Nice fish, nice fish. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh yes. This is the one I hope to catch on camera. Ooh, I saw him up there chasing. <laughs> Yeah, look at, look at, look at that mouth. He's up there chasing that crayfish. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we'll do an official measurement on this one. With the old bump. Oh, you made my morning. He is 18 and a half. <laughs> we got the 18 incher. I know for a lot of you bass folks, 18 inches is not the trophy measurement, so to speak. You know, you want to get 20 plus. And I've caught 20 plus out here over the years, but you know, maybe only three or four I've caught that big. These are in here and I catch one to four every year. And it's fun to finally get one on camera. Oh, man. Thank you, buddy. Mwah. Healthy release. Well, I got fishermen that just showed up behind me here. I know of at least two other places that are almost exactly like the shoreline. And I'm going to move in anticipation that this is a pattern we can catch more bass like this on. Stay tuned. might be a netter. Boy, I hope I got that on camera. That was quite the strike. And he was, he came from shallow too. Yes. Yes, I'm committed. He's in the net. <laughs> oh my goodness. And once again, the roughed up mouth from smacking crayfish against the rocks. <laughs> oh, I love Lake Vermilion Browns backs. scare you half to death. <laughs> when they go underwater, they look like a... Oh, beautiful. Thanks, bud. You don't know what they're, what you're looking at when they're underwater. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I was just gonna say this spot looks so bassy. Bassy. I'm gonna actually back out of here. I have a feeling this stretch, I don't know, 60 to 100 yard stretch, is gonna have some numbers in it. I have a feeling. Oh, yeah. If I'm gonna catch 17 ish inch bass in here, I'm super stoked that I moved to this spot. Come on. Yes. 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 Oh man, it's hard to gauge how big they are in the water. 
heart is beating on this one. Yeah. 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 Gotta get back in. Ooh. Another 17 and a half incher. <laughs> Thumbs up, baby. Thumbs up. Let's see if I can catch the one that just surfaced back there. Thanks, bud. Oh, yeah. Just wanted it to sit there for a second. Are you in that same class? Or are you a little bit smaller? Find out here in a minute. Boy, we're getting lots of American flag thumbs up today. Whoop whoop. Might have to do a montage of that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I love you guys. Oh, I love you guys. There's another nice one. 16er, maybe. We won't net you up. Yeah, you're hanging out right where you're supposed to be. Under that log with the boulders. And you don't look like one that's been chasing the, the crawdad is. Another, another American flake fish. Whoop. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Well, now that's three in like a 40 foot stretch. So now I'm really slowing down and paying a bit more careful attention. Yeah, maybe you can relate to like starting to really feel good about all the conditions. The sun's behind the clouds. I'm on a very quiet section, as you can see, no wind. And we already have established that uh, the bass are chasing food towards shore. And this is a higher percentage spot. So you just kind of, I am at least, maybe you do the same. Take a deep breath, take it nice and easy. Right now the fish aren't really going anywhere. They're, they're in here feeding and work the shoreline slowly, methodically. You know, I always like targets. So I'm aiming at, at boulders or just off boulders. If I see boulders under the water, I'm aiming for that too. Pockets where you see a dip of a little bit deeper water. They're really shallow though too. So I'm, I'm starting to not be afraid to really try to get up there in the shore. Again, you feel like you're a pro when you're doing this, but really it's just paying attention to the details around you. I think it's 10 o'clock maybe now, and it's still perfect top water conditions. The wind is, is light, light from the south, so I'm on a south shore line, um, which actually adds for a little more shade too during the day. So just a lot of little things like that that are adding up to good numbers and excitement. Every time that fish hits that topwater lure, my heart goes boom, da -doom, da -doom, da -doom. <laughs> Oh, look at this spot. I got to turn on this one. Okay, so I feel like this birch up here with the big boulders around it has got a fish or two in it. Oh, look at that cast. I got it right up in there. Come on. Oh. You're not going to reward me with that cast? I think I could cast it under there again if I tried. Come on. Come on. There's got to be a bass hanging out under there. Come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah. It's not a big one, but you are right where you're supposed to be. Ah. <laughs> That one sent tingles all the way down through my body. <laughs> oh. 
I don't know why I was so worried. I was so worried that I was going to come out here on probably the only morning I could get out and bass fish and not catch a thing. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. I don't typically pray for catching fish unless I need it for food because it's mostly out for fun and enjoying God's creation and learning. But I feel like God's blessed in the morning for what I had to be able to fish today. Hopefully the footage is turning out good. Oh yeah, another nice 15 incher. Well done, thank you. Reward a good cast with a good fish. We'll do the thumbs up on this side. Another bill dance. Thank you, brother. Ooh. All right. We're going to try this again. I'm getting the frame this time. We are having a blast catching Lake Vermilion smallmouth bass, the old bronze backs. Give the old thumbs up. celebrating Independence Day, right? But we did fireworks last night and enjoyed family and friends and gonna do that for a couple more days before the vacation ends and gotta go back to work and life. Man, what a way to spend the morning. Awesome top water. My heart is full. I feel so blessed to live in a country where I have freedom of speech, freedom to worship, freedom to catch fish and have fun, freedom to praise God for all the blessings that he's given us and enjoying his creation. I love it. It's one of my absolute favorite things to do. Lake Vermilion's chock full of these babies. Such a great resource up here. This lake is just built for smallmouth bass. It's got the boulders, it's got food, it's got the spawning areas, it's got everything you need. Come on up here and enjoy it. There's plenty for everybody. Thanks for joining me in another episode of The Ordinary Fisherman. When you get a chance, go out and topwater fish. It is so much fun. I'm Nathaniel, just The Ordinary Fisherman. God bless everyone in tight lines. Watering all year. Gotta get used to it. Uh, I need the camera turned around because we got a big one. Turn around. Thank you, buddy. Mouth. Well, that's gonna make that's gonna make the episode. Ow. Happy birthday, America! <laughs> Ooh, well, I'd say the morning's going really well. These are the kind of mornings that make you feel like you're a professional and you know what you're doing. But I would be willing to bet any one of you with your favorite top water could go along the shoreline and catch you some bass like this. Come on up to Lake Vermilion. June, July, when the water temps are 65, 70 degrees, they are shallow and they are willing potness. Thank you. Oh man, I don't want to quit. I don't want to quit. I just want to keep going and going and going. Thanks, bud.